The first one that most people know when they think of meditation, I like, I like what Richard Davidson, one of the great scientists right now that are studying, studying uh, advanced yogis using MRI to understand their brain changes. He says that the word meditation is a generic term like the word sports is. It's, the word sports is a designation that captures a wide variety of activities. And the, the word meditation is it the same thing. It's a, it's a word that captures a wide variety of activities. There are usually three different kinds of meditation practices. Those that calm the mind. Those that review different spiritual topics and themes to internalize those topics and themes. And finally, penetrative, investigative meditations designed to actually see things differently. So for example, setting your mind on the breath or a candle or an image of the Buddha, those are designed to calm the mind down from its state of distraction. And that's important because once you have a clear mind, you can do some other things. The second technique is We, we live in a state of dysfunction because of all the bad information that we internalized. You know, maybe our parents were really stressed out, so we learned a lot of bad things from them. We may have thought, like, we were bad people, or we were, you know, worthless, or we were unlovable, or whatever, and that's sort of, that's at a very, very deep level, the kind of fixation or self-view that we have. Part of the Buddhist education is to give us a different view of ourselves and others and to study it, actually. We have to kind of go back to school if we want to be different people. And so some of the meditations are reviewing new information and, if you like, downloading new software about what it means to be a human being, how should we act, how should we feel, how should we see and treat others, and using a meditation to internalize all that new software, which diametrically opposes some of the software we unconsciously downloaded from our terrified and exhausted family systems. And then that final type of meditation technique is that penetrative investigative technique, vipassana, which on a basis of a calm mind, then you can start to peer into the way that the mind holds to things, like the terrified traumatic self-image, or the world is being hostile, or appearances being as they are from their own side. Those are very, very powerful. They're like a microscope meditation to see that things, the way things appear isn't actually the way they are. And the only way to see that is to use a technology upon a basis of a calm mind. And then once you see that, you have an internal shift. It's like getting on the ship in the period of time when we thought the world was flat. A few people had to get on a ship and, and make it to the other side to actually know it wasn't. They had to have a personal experience. Those third kind of meditation, the vipassana kind of meditation, provides that internal reality check where finally you can let go of the thing that you think is there, which is actually not. And then it changes you. Once you see it, it changes you. So that's the other kind of meditation.